So first of all, we will be go. We'll go to points menu. We'll go uh, to points. If you click here and point creation tools, a new uh, what you say toolbar will open, and you can have uh, some information and settings you can assign here. You can also right click here and say create. Same window will open. You can also go from menu and create point same window will open so in here there are some default settings that you can make here when you click on this arrow up or down default layer when you create points will be b node and point creation will be uh, local coordinates are northing easting grid northing easting your graphic coordinates are latitude and longitude, prompt for elevation, always whenever you create a point, it will always ask for um, uh, elevation. If you don't want to assign this uh, manually, but uh, you want it to get it automatically, you can assign it to automatic and uh, default description. Uh, this is some important thing. Uh, when you create a point you don't have to click again and again to tell it that this point is uh, OGL or finished road level or it is a tree or it is some other specific thing so you can assign here and just directly go and create points and it will automatically be uh, assigning this description to whatever points you create after this in this case we will go we are going we have the survey point file which is in csv format file this is the csv format file you can see here uh, it is uh, the first column is point number second is easting third is northing then we have elevation and after that we have the uh, point description so these all points are already assigned and uh, we got from the survey data uh, this is the data that we'll be using in our civil 3d file so let's go and uh, assign uh, let's go and import this data in our drawing so use this tool to import points just click it and new window will open which says import points and from here you can say uh, add file i will just copy this part and paste here or you can simply browse to the location where your file is uh, located and i will change this to csv there are many csv files but i am going to use this one open so this is what it shows like up here it shows that the file name is this i will show uh, the next thing it is no we know that what is the data type in this file so in here click the file name then we will specify point file format what is the file for mm, file format we have point easting northing z elevation and description uh, this is the preview of same excel file the csv file that we checked already it is point number easting northing point elevation and draw description you can see here the same uh, type of data is mentioned here uh, let's go down and check this one do coordinate transformation if possible leave the other things empty and hit ok uh, now nothing has happened uh, as we can see uh, just uh, command z enter for zoom and i will say all zoom all will show me the points you can see there were some there are some points that are uh, that have the description of trees so these points have already been assigned to a specific uh, point style now the, there are two different types of points now 
one point is if we click and go to properties the properties you can switch from here from home tab here is the properties tool palette you can switch on or off from here similarly like tool space if you click tool space you can assign you can switch on or off tool space and same like that you can switch on or off the properties tab also so if in here you click this point and go to properties it so it says that it is a cocoa point and name is this point number is 387 raw description is OGL this raw description it has uh, uh, gathered from the CSV file that we have uh, imported now if we check the same details for the tree point it will show that it is a cocoa point and raw description is tree so all of the uh, points that have a raw description of tree has a separate uh, style of point. Now let's go ahead and separate these two point styles in uh, uh, two different groups. Let's go and create a new point group and we will say it is original ground level. Okay, and uh, it should include any points with raw description matching OGL. Okay, that you can assign from information. You can go to include and with raw description matching to OGL. There are different uh, uh, functionalities that you can use with number matching. If you have a specific number that you want to add in this point group, you can assign that point numbers with elevation matchings, with name matching, with full description matching. No, in our case, we have raw description matching and we know these points with the uh, raw description of OGL, uh, we will be assigning it to this point group name. I will say apply, okay you can see that now the point style has changed the display has changed you know it looks a odd and it looks bigger so we will choose this and minimize the display of these points i will close the create points uh, tool palette you can see this point now it is showing the point value the point number value point elevation value and its raw description you can see here all of the ogl have this uh, specific uh, display if i go click it right click here and point group properties you can change this from here you can assign it as this description only if i hit apply you can see it has changed and if I go to say elevation only, it will only show the elevations of the OGL points, original ground points. It will not be changing the other points, which are tree points. For tree points, we are going to create another point style, which we will say trees. And this point group should include all of the points with draw description that is tree. And this point group should be showing the point style should be tree and it will only show description only without any elevation. I will hit apply and OK. And uh, this is what happens. I will simply go uh, here and change this to trees. Apply OK. This is the point group which is trees and point style point label style should in will be overridden apply okay now it shows tree with only the description now these point styles now we have one point uh, 
we imported a file and we split the points to uh, to different uh, uh, what you say two different point groups if you want to uh, the, there are two things now in when a point is there there are two things one is the label of point the other thing is uh, point style this is the point style how the point looks like and this is the label of point the description or elevation or whatever is written just click it and go to properties you will see here what we have point label style is default we can change it to northing easting we can change it to point number elevation and description we can change it to point and description only we can change it to whatever we want for now we will say it is elevation only okay the point style now if what we were changing was only uh, affecting this area now if we change the point style the point style will be changing different see this is the point style nothing is being changed here there are many predefined point styles already in civil 3d you can assign any of them in our case we will be using basic one which is the cross and this red cross you can change the point style from going to point group properties and you can edit to default styles point style basic you can edit this basic point style from here now how it is created name is basic from marker point this is the marker point the cross it shows how it looks like use custom marker we can say it should be only a dot if we hit ok apply ok apply ok now you can see there is a dot only if you want to change it to some other one simply click it right click go to point group properties basic otherwise if you want to create a new point style go to click on this arrow down copy current selection and we will say this one we have test one point style and the marker is marker should look like uh, around with cross and this is how it should look like and you can minimize this uh, size as well we will say it is 0.5 mm apply okay apply okay this is how it looks like now so we have edited the point style the point label styles uh, this is how you can change these things